And now to the crisis in Sudan. The UN claims the humanitarian situation is reaching a breaking point. This comes as the U.S. sends a second convoy to evacuate Americans trapped in that war-torn country. ABC's Britt Clement has the latest. This morning, a second U.S. military ship safely evacuating around 300 people from the violence in Sudan. Saudi media saying a third of them are Americans. According to the State Department, nearly 1,000 U.S. citizens have already been evacuated since the conflict began. These buses with drones guarding them from above used to take evacuees on a dangerous 500-mile journey to safety. From Khartoum to Port Sudan, eventually arriving in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. The rush to get out causing chaos at some borders. These satellite images showing cars and crowds of refugees at the Egyptian border. In Cairo, more than 100 evacuees landed overnight thanks to an evacuation flight run by a U.S. military veteran. Meanwhile, conditions on the ground are deteriorating. Bodies piling up in the street, while residents report little access to drinking water, food or fuel. Well, the United States says it is closely monitoring the extension of this fragile truce that was agreed on by both sides. The ceasefire has so far failed to stop the intense fighting. Britt Clenet, ABC News, London.